In this video we'll compare the Waves API 2500, the UAD Spark 2500 and the plugin alliance Lindel SBC, which all do the API 2500 compressor in plugin form. First thing you will notice is that with a simple phase inversion test is that there is a difference in sound between the default settings. The biggest difference in sound is between the Lindel SBC with the Waves and UAD. This has nothing to do with the default threshold settings, which are plus 10 with Waves and UAD and minus 20 on the Lindel. The input gains are handled differently between the plugins as well. Waves has no input gain setting, the UAD uses a headroom dial and the Lindel has separate input and output levels apart from what's available in the plugin and there's a few ways to calibrate this plugin as well. GUI-wise, I think that the UAD API 2500 is most pleasant to look at. The Lindel SBC has the most logical release control, just one dial. The Waves and UAD have two dials, just as the hardware, but on a plugin this is unneeded in my opinion. The UAD API is the most basic in regards of features and the Lindel has the most extra functions with the Nuke, Sidechain High Pass and THD being unique to the plugin. In regards of control, the Waves was most precise to dial in, with a clear indication of the values and has manual input as well, the other two don't. The UAD doesn't show any values at all. Pause the video to get a good view of the chart of the differences and similarities between the plugins. All the plugins are slightly different calibrated. And the VU display differs as well, which makes comparing a bit tedious. I did my best to have them respond in the same way as much as possible. Also since what you will hear has gone already through two stages of compression, namely the video export and the YouTube compression, some subtleties may get lost. The special feature of an API 2500 compressor is the thrust circuit. Basically this is a sidechain filter circuit which will influence on how the compressor will react to incoming audio. We all know the basic low pass sidechain filter in compressors which will exclude the low end for the compressor to react so you will get for instance less pumping artifacts. Loud uses a 3 decibels per octave rising linear slope which is the exact opposite of a pink noise curve. This results in a more punchy sound with balanced high frequencies and powerful mid-range. The medium setting uses a frequency slope which is flat between about 200 and 3500 Hz, while having the 3 decibels per octave slope of the loud setting above and below these frequencies. The normal setting removes these special settings, so the API 2500 will work as a normal compressor. On the Lindel this is called filter and on the other tool this is called thrust. This probably has to do with the official licensing by API. Let's do a comparison with the same settings on the three. Medium settings first. So medium knee with medium thrust on all. Attack set to 10 milliseconds. Ratio to 6 to 1. Threshold is minus 8, release 200 milliseconds and feed forward. Makeup gain is set to auto. Let's use manual output gain. And let's set the compressors to feed back. Now 
Now the character is more or less the same, but the UAD and especially the Lindell are louder. Let's do the loud thrust with a ratio of 4 and hard knee to bring the characters more out. The waves sound most flat, the API has a bit up a mid push, these differences are minimal. The Lindell has the most body. The metering confuses me. If I would set a similar gain reduction on the Lindell by changing input and output here, you can hear the compression is working a lot harder than the other ones. Now the Lindell has this THD setting which was set to minus 30. If I set it to 0 or higher, you hear the harmonic distortion kick in, which is more in parallel with what you hear on the other two models. Changing TID on the Lindell makes a huge difference. When setting the attack even shorter, ratio higher and thresholds as well, you get these results. Like this, it's almost indistinguishable with the UAD API. The waves sounds most open right now. There are of course many, many in-between settings you will use on your own audio. But you can hear that the differences between the plugins aren't that big at all. All three have the same official sales price of $299, but none of them will actually cost that if you will look what they will cost during sales or with a subscription plan. Of all three plugins, I slightly prefer the Lindell SBC. It appears to grab the audio just a tad better and it has a few more handy extras compared to the other two. All three have that handy thrust sidechain circuit which has a huge impact on how the compressor reacts. A smart play on this sidechain filter can be found in the Neod U17 compressor which uses a very handy flexible sidechain filter. The video I did on it is displayed on screen and linked in the description below.